He slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Here's Jackson. Rolling to his right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out, and now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can send a leap, and he's got it. He got it. And all the way down to the 37. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Out to his left. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. A third quarter now to one point game as they line up second and 10. Shotgun now for Brady. Oh, he's thinking end zone for Evans. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, 37 yards. And the Bucks are going to retake the lead. So a one-handed grab in the end zone. Nothing much more rewarding than that for a guy catching it. Not at all. And with what we just saw there, that type of a one-handed catch, what's next? Maybe they go up and almost Velcro with their jersey in the ball. That's about all that's left. That play, simply spectacular. So a one-handed grab in the end zone, not much more impressive than that. You know, sometimes the guy on the defensive side of the ball, he just has a good feeling or a good read, and he unleashed his defense on that one. Boy, they stopped him in a big way. Yeah, I hate to be cliche, but sometimes we overanalyze. They just have more want. Looked like they had more want right there. <laughs> more want and more people to the ball. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big pick up there on the scramble. Oh, Lamar Jackson just so electric, Charles, when he gets into open space, and we saw exhibit A right there. You know something? I'm standing up here in the booth next to you watching the play. He buckled my ankles on that one as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're actually on the field trying to chase him or you're just watching him play. This guy is sheer excitement. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Well, I can certainly tell my age, partner, because when I was a kid, running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college, they went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. Great is it to get a guy with that ability who can run it inside, run to the perimeter, and catch the football out of the backfield to be able to get him in the second round? That's what I call a steal. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Dobbins running out of the gun. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But the tide definitely see turning in this. Quarter, his defense is able. 